Hi, Francisco. Hi. How are you today? Hi, Hi Jenny. Hi, Elmer. Francisco, ayer no entró a clase, Frank. No. Ni Jenny, ¿qué me le pasó? What happened? What happened? I was very busy because okay. this day was my first day. Back to work. work. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Um, Hi Jenny, I'm, what about I'm, you? I missed I'm, class yesterday. Oh, thank you. I, I have a meeting with my with my job. All right. Okay. That's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hi Thank Williams you. and Ale. Hello, Elmer. I already said hi and you did not reply. Hi, Jose. Teacher. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. Excellent. Williams, how was your day? Yeah. Everything okay? Uh, really busy, but it is great. Well, great. Okay, and you're smiling. That's good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, that's okay. nice. Eric, how are you today? Ay, Eric. Sí, el Mercito, vamos a tener clase mañana. ¿Por qué no vamos a tener clase mañana? Ay. ¿Qué hay mañana? Es feriado. Sí, pues. Es simplemente por ser feriado, teacher. No es que haya. Sí, pero como a usted especial. le encanta pasar en su clase de inglés, aunque sea feriado o no, you're going to be here tomorrow. No es que me encante pasar en mi clase de inglés y usted sabe qué es lo que a mí me gusta. Oh, God, imagínese, ni me lo mando a decir. Thank you very much. Hi, Mario. Lo voy a uh, Thank I you. agree with you. <laughs> I'm going to, to say the, the, same, the same question for tomorrow. They will, will we have class tomorrow? Yes, we will have class tomorrow, my dear Mario. I'm so uh, sorry. Okay. Okay. All right, but it's the best way to spend it celebrating Father's Day in your English class. Oh God. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry if it's not my decision, but yeah, we have a class tomorrow. I'm just passing on. Only fathers time. have the same question. I know, eh? William is like, okay. <laughs> William, you're not a dad, right? No, I okay. not. But Mario, you're not a father. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm not a father too. <laughs> but I have a father that I have to celebrate too. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, I understand. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Anna. Hi, Jose. Hi, Eli. Hi. Hi. All right. Good evening. Good evening. All right, guys. So welcome back. Welcome to a new class. Half of the week already. All right. So that's getting closer to the end of this course. Let, hopefully I'll be with you guys. Well, I think it's both ways. I'm gonna be with you next um, course. So let's see if that happens, all right? So we'll see. Anyway, so today guys, I said that we're going to begin section four. Is that right? Yes, all right. Uh, in the morning while I was preparing the class for like your class for tonight, I just saw like three or four comments on section four. I don't know if by the end of the, the day, you guys wrote more comments, but I just saw like three or four at the very, like about 10 or 11. Yeah. So I'm, I'm still know, in eh? the unit three. Excellent. In the All right. So I'm keeping an eye on you guys. I know Alejandra wrote on section four already, so that's good. All right, and then a couple of more too. All right, very good. Thank you, Ali. All right, guys, so let's begin section four. All right, so we have for you today. Do you know what the topic is? Tell me what the topic is. Let's see if you studied the platform before. Passive. Passive, aha, uh -huh. passive. Very good, Natalie, you studied it. Excellent. Passive, but what passive? For what? Uh, uh, let me see. I don't know. You're cheating on me, Natalie. You have no, no, no. I was oh, studying. Oh, you're cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I was studying today. Pinky promise? Yes. Promise. All right. Okay. While I look for your presentation, uh -huh, Natalie, tell us more about the topic for tonight. Uh, passive when you describe uh -huh, um, uh -huh, uh -huh. You're getting closer. That happened. A process. A, a process. A process. Okay. In the past, maybe. Ah, in the past. All right. Okay. Le voy a dar medio punto. Sorry. 
Yes, my dear student. It's basic passive. Si me va a decir que no le gusta la clase, ya no me hable. It's basic passive. It's basic Usted sabe passive. que me encanta. Whatever. Anyway, yes, it's passive. It's, it's basic no, passive. No, non defining a relative clause. No, it's the first one. No. Usted ya se adelantó, casi que ya terminó. Ah, okay. All right, no, it's passive. Describing a process. All right, so that very good, Natalie. Okay. All right, you got it right. Okay, so it's basic passive. That's what we're going to study tonight. All right, so I have this presentation for you. Le llegó la presentación de ayer. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes, thank you. Excellent. Yes. All right, very good. Ya ve, me estoy portando bien. All right, okay, so passive to describe process, okay? So this is what we're studying tonight, guys. This is the same information that is on the platform, just a little bit deeper, a little bit, like, explained a little bit deeper I guess but before we get into the real 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 topic I need to review I need to review with you what passive is all right just to make sure that you understand it uh, usually I ask you if and sometimes nobody has questions and that worries me because if you don't have questions pasan dos cosas una entendió todo una no entendió nada all right, so that kind of worries me, all right? That worries me. So please ask questions. Okay, so active and passive, meaning and use, all right? That's what we're going to begin with today. Let me see, Williams, can you read, please, in English? Yes. In English, we can express sentences in two different ways, active voice and passive voice. Excellent, The active right. voice is used when the focus is on the subject or agent, agent. Of, the, of agent of the main verb. This is the person or thing doing the verb. Excellent, continue. Uh, millions of people use the internet every day. Mm -hmm. A strong storm destroyed many house in houses in the village. Houses? Houses in, in the, the village. 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 Village, okay. Excellent, nice. Only six students pass the test. Eso no es cierto, eso es un ejemplo nada. Only six students pass the test. Very good. All right, okay. okay. Continue, my friend. The passive voice is used when the person or the thing affects by the, by the main verb becomes the focus. Focus, uh -huh. okay. The internet is used by millions of people every day. Many houses in the village were destroyed by a strong storm. Very good. The test was passed by only six students. All right, very good. Thank you, William. It was a very nice reading. Okay, guys. Okay, so thanks. remember, and I have said this so many times to you before, in English, there are many, well, the, in this case, there are two ways of saying things, all right? On the active voice or passive voice. The active voice is the English that we speak every single day, all right? When you say, everybody uses internet, all right? Or you say, everybody, I don't know, reads a book that's pa that's active voice all right why is it called active it's because the action is happening and you don't have to like worry about anything else all right but there is another way of expressing the same idea using passive voice all right some people when they hear passive voice they panic because they think it's difficult it's not difficult if you follow the structure the structure should not be new for you because you have studied this before but in case you have forgotten, then I'm gonna re-explain it to you again, all right? Now, one thing that we need to understand is the active voice is used, all right, when the focus is on the subject or agent or doer of the action. If I tell you, Natalie reads the book, who reads the book? Guys? Uh, Natalie. Natalie. Natalie, all right. If I say Jessica teaches English, who teaches English? Jessica. Yes. Jessica, all right. Say, um, I don't know. Uh, the president ordered a quarantine. Who ordered the quarantine? The president. The president. All right. Now, in these three sentences, Jessica, the president, and Natalie, who is the doer of the action? Who were the doers of the action? Who were the agents of the actions? Who were the subjects of those actions? 
people. Natalie. Natalie people. in one, Jessica in another one, okay. and the president of the other one, right? People, all right? So when I say Jessica teaches English, Jessica is the subject, or Jessica is the agent, or Jessica is the doer. When I say Natalie reads the book, I, Natalie is the subject, the agent, or the doer of the action, okay? Now, if I tell you guys, Natalie reads the book, okay, Natalie is the subject, what is, what is the action performed? She did the action of what? Reading a book. Read a book, all right? If I said the president ordered a quarantine, what was his action? Order. Order, 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 right? Order. Yes. If I say Jessica teaches a class, what is Jessica's action? Teacher. Teacher. Teaches. Teaches. All right, to teach yeah. a class. Okay, so in active voice, you have a subject or the agent or the doer of an action. The action is the verb. Okay, you guys understand that so far? So far, yes. so good? Yes. yes. All right, okay. Now, what if I tell you, for example, again, Natalie reads the book, what is more important, Natalie or the action? The subject or the, or the action? The subject. The subject. All right, Natalie reads the book. Jessica teaches English. Who's, what's more important, the, the subject or the subject? The subject, okay. all right? That's why we, make, mm -hmm. we mention who did the action, all right? If I say, read the, read the book, you're going to look at me like, who reads the book? And I say, Natalie, you need to know who read the book, right? I say, teaches English. And you're going to look at me like, who teaches English? Uh, Jessica teaches English. Ah, okay. Order the quarantine. Who ordered the quarantine? La sala, la no sé quién, o el presidente. The president, all right? So you need to know the doer. So the doer, the agent, or the subject is important on the active voice. Ojo, en algunas teorías le va a aparecer subject. En otras teorías le va a aparecer agent. Y en otras teorías le va a aparecer doer. Es el mismo. Abocado, aboque, ah, como le diga, se come igual. All right, potato, potato is the same vegetable. All right, so agent, Teacher. subject, or doer is the same. Dígame. Pueden apagar los micrófonos, por favor, compañeros, para que no se escuche tanto ruido. Yo pensé que era un ventilador. <laughs> ah, thank you. All right, thank you, Elmer. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, teacher, excuse yes. me. Yes, uh, door is D O. E -R. A R, right? E R. E R. Yeah, okay, doer. those uh -huh. are doer. similar. Question. Yes. And same meaning. Yes, it's the same meaning, Natalie. If I tell you okay. who's the doer of the action, Natalie. Who's the agent of the action, Natalie. Who's the subject of the action, Natalie. All right, it's the same, Natalie. All right, very good. Thank you. All right. Now, if you notice on the, sec on the first example, it says millions of people use the internet every day. Who are the doers, guys? Millions of people. Millions of people, all right? Millions of people, I cannot mention them, all right? If I say a strong storm destroyed many houses in the village, what was the doer of the action? Guys, the doer of the action? Strong storm. storm. A strong storm. Oh. Que se puede pasar a it. It destroyed many houses in the village, all right? If we know what we're talking about, hace dos semanas que estaba lloviendo, yo le hubiera dicho, fíjense que it destroyed many houses in the village. Obvio, it was many, a strong storm, all right? But sometimes we can like make an emphasis or being really like emphatic saying a, a strong storm, all right? But it's the same doer, agent, or subject. Then we have only six students pass the test, all right? So if I ask you, Jose Ramos, on that sentence, only six students pass the test, tell me the doer or the agent or the subject of that sentence. Doer are the students. How many students, Jose? I don't know how many, but it, uh, six, six students. students, right? Only six awesome. students, all right? That's okay. 
So only six students pass the test. You know, and what is important in that sentence is to know that only six students pass the test, all right? So you see, for these sentences, for active voice sentences, it's very important to know who did the action, all right? In that case, how many students passed it? Only six. It was very important to know the, uh, the quantity of the students, all right? In this case, only six. Now, passive voice is used when the person or the thing affected by the main verb, I cannot read this, becomes the focus of the whole thing. Now, when we talk about or when we use passive voice, the subject or the agent is not very important and the action becomes important, okay? If you see this, the internet is used by millions of people every day. What is important here, guys? The internet? The, the internet. internet, yes. All right. I can actually, if you have studied passive voice before with me or with other teachers or in other like times you know that on passive voice you can easily omit the doer of the action all right you can say the internet is used by anna by jose by eric by williams by all the students by millions of people by jessica the um the doer of the action is not relevant do you guys understand that <laughs> Yes. Hola, hola. Everybody yes. understand? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank uh, you. No, you, uh -huh. you. Jenny. It's not exactly the, the, the subject, right? This is a passive voice. No, no, it, it's not a subject. Uh, I lost you. Explain it again. Uh, the internet, for example, is uh -huh. not a subject. No. I mean, uh, in a way, it becomes the subject because it's at the beginning, all right? But it's uh -huh. not really the subject, all right? It's okay. the thing that becomes important, all right? Yeah. Many houses in the village were destroyed by a strong storm. What is important is that the many houses in the village, all right? What happened today? I mean, to them, they were destroyed by what? By a strong storm by an earthquake, by a flood, by a fire, by you, I don't know, <laughs> all right? So the doer is not important. Maybe <clears throat> you don't know who did why you omit it, all right? Because for example, you say, oh, my, my cell phone got stolen on the bus. And I say, by whom? And you say, I have no idea. There were millions of people on the bus. All right, those parecían sospechosos, all right? So you don't know. Sometimes we use passive voice because we really don't know who did the action or who the doer is or was, okay? The test was passed by only six students. So in other words, guys, we kind of switch the position of each part of the sentence, all right? So we kind of make a... Uh, a cross on it, all right? Can you give me a second, guys, please? I'm sorry. Okay, okay don't worry. Sorry, guys, okay. So uh, you kind of like make a cross on it and everything goes like upside down kind of thing, all right? One becomes a subject, it's, it is not really the subject, but it becomes at the beginning, the other one goes at the end, and it can be easily omitted, all right? So passive voice, that's why we use it a lot, and we actually use it a lot, all right? Do you have any questions, guys, so far? No questions? Yes. Huh? No question. Uh, <laughs> so you were saying, yes, I have a question, all right, okay. Ale, you understand? Jenny Portillo, yeah, you understand? Mario, Francisco, Williams, yes? yes. Anna? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, yes. easy. Yes. Hi, yes. easy. Rocio, Alexia, no problem, Eli, no? No problem. Okay. All right, okay. So I, I understand here. that only you, you change uh, yeah, the you order make, of the yeah. sentence. But also, uh, Mario, it's very important for you to notice that then, for example, take a look at the first one on passive voice, Mario. It says the internet is used by millions of people every day. Now, 
the structure of passive voice is you don't know you not only make a cross here but you also use the verb be mm. all right past participle ojo no es el pasado simple is the past participle all right cosa que en la voz pasiva no ahora la perdón en la voz activa ahora usted tiene la voz activa en presente y la puede pasar a voz pasiva en presente all right cómo lo va Yo a hacer una pregunta, ya, ya, le, ya, ya voy el mercito En la voz pasiva, usted se tiene que fijar cuál, es, cómo es, cuál tiempo verbal es, se está usando en su voz activa. Por ejemplo, yo le digo, millions of people use the internet every day. Use, usted identifica que es presente, simple. ¿Ok? Entonces, cuando haga el switch a la passive voice, usted en automático tiene que saber que passive voice se realiza usando el verbo be. Y ese verbo be es el que lleva el tiempo verbal. Si usted le pone is porque le, le da un match con use, usted dice, ah, bueno, entonces mi voz activa es presente simple, entonces tengo que usar is porque is es presente simple, ¿cierto? Pero tengo que usar, luego, sorry, luego tengo que usar el pasado participio. Si mi oración, Mario, estuviera, millions of people used ayer, the internet está used as in like yesterday, Entonces dice, ah, entonces mi voz pasiva también tiene que estar en pasado. ¿Cuál es el pasado del verbo be? En singular. Was. Was. Entonces, the internet was used by millions of people yesterday. ¿Ya, Mario? Entonces, a mí lo que me da, tengo que fijarme en mi voz activa, en qué tiempo verbal está. Una vez identifiqué mi tiempo verbal, entonces yo juego con ese mismo tiempo en mi voz pasiva, Y quien me denota de, de el tiempo verbal en mi voz pasiva es el verbo be. Con ese voy jugando. Is, was, has been, uh, is been, was been, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. All right? Y luego ocupo el, el pasado participio del verbo que sigue. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yes, Mario, you understand? All right, Elmercito, disculpe, you had a question. Ajá. Uh -huh. Cuando yo veo una, una oración de ese tipo, la única manera de identificar si están usando voz activa o, o pasiva es identificando el hacedor, ¿es correcto? Si empieza no. con el hacedor de la acción, sería activo y si eh, finaliza es, es pasivo. Que, sí, Elmer, pero también eh, tiene que fijarse si está usando un verbo vi y el pasado participio. Entonces, si tiene toda la combinación, está usando voz pasiva. ¿Sí me entiende? Si se fija en la primera, regresando al ejemplo, es que millions of people use the internet every day. Ajá. Ahí yo no estoy usando ningún verbo be. Sería totalmente absurdo, uh -huh. no puedo, ¿verdad? Yo no puedo decir millions of people is use the internet. Uh -huh. All right? Mientras que en voz pasiva, yo digo the internet is used. All right? Entonces, también juego con que el, estoy usando un, el verbo be más un verbo en pasado participio. Y eso me da más todavía la pauta que es una voz pasiva. Y luego me pregunto, bueno, el, el hacedor, como se dice, o el doer, ¿es importante o lo que pasa es importante? ¿O de lo que estoy hablando es importante? Ahora, entonces, mm, se okay. cuestiona y su, depende de su respuesta. Si usted dice, ah, sí. Yo le digo, Natalie reads the book o the book is read by Natalie. ¿Qué es más importante, el libro o Natalie? El libro. Que uh -huh. está o sea que la unión de esos... Por Natalie o Natalie. Ajá, es la unión de esos dos verbos uh -huh. eh, me da la pauta. Exacto, de que, es que es una voz pasiva. Sí. La vez okay. pasada yo les comentaba, si ustedes revisan, tal vez ahorita no, pero after the class, revisan la viñeta de su ropa, dice Made in El Salvador. All right, eso es voz pasiva. Lo que pasa es que no pueden poner this shirt is made in El Salvador by Salvadorians. All right, sería demasiado larga. All right, pero dice made in El Salvador. All right, so that's passive voice, short, very short. All right, all right. Any more questions, guys? Do you have questions? No? Estamos bien? Me aflige cuando nadie dice nada. <laughs> All right, I'll go on. Okay, we're están calladitos. Okay, let's see here. Um, who wants to read? Necesito volunteer. Ya me, ya me cansé. Anita me quiere leer. Yo ya sabía, Anita. Very good. All right, Ana. 
Uh, read the passive is often. Uh -huh. The passive is often used when the person or thing doing the verb is not important. Oh, no, or obvious is the case we may leave them out com completely. Completely, very completely. good. Only, Anita, deme un segundo. All right. Eso es lo mismo que acabamos de decir. The passive is often used, all right, when the person or thing eh, eh, doing the verb is not important. Y fíjense una cosa, revisen el, el, el principio de esta oración que Anita acaba de leer. The passive voice is often used. ¿Esa oración está en pasiva, sí o no? Yes. Yeah, it is passive. It's passive voice. O sea, explaining the passive voice, we're using passive voice. You understand? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ahora, ¿qué es importante? ¿Qué es usada o qué es la voz pasiva? ¿Por quién es usada? Perdón, ¿por qué, es, ¿qué es importante aquí? ¿Por quién es usada o que estamos hablando de la voz pasiva que es usada? The passive voice. The passive voice is often used, yes. all right? No de por quién, pero puede ser por usted, por mí, por todos, all right? Yeah, but we don't, it's not really important. O a veces it's unknown or sometimes it's obvious, all right? Anna, please continue. The solution. The solution was hated. Heated. Heated to 100 degrees, agent mm -hmm. is unimportant. All right, agent is unimportant, all right? Now, Mario, esa oración, la primera que Anita acaba de leer, the solution was heated to 100 degrees. Regáleme el tiempo verbal de esa, de esa oración. Is in pass, past in participle. Past. Is in pass or past participle, Mario? Was is in past. Yes. Heated is not past participle. Yes, no. it's past participle. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, okay. now, yeah. el tiempo verbal de esa oración está en, en simple past passive voice. Ah, uh, yeah? okay. okay. ¿Qué, lo, ¿Qué me lo denota o qué me lo dijo el was? Porque heated va a ser igual si yo le pusiera the solution is whatever. All right. Or the solution will be heated. El heated siempre va a ser en passive, perdón, en past participle. Pero que, quien me denota a mí el tiempo verbal es el verbo be. En este caso es was. Mm -hmm. Ahora, si yo le pido, a ver, ¿a quién le pido? Le voy a pedir a alguien. Um, a ver, Rocío, si yo le pido esa oración misma, the solution was heated 200 degrees, está en past passive voice. Páseme la paz, active voice. Uh, uh, somebody hit, <laughs> heated the uh -huh. solution to 100 degrees. 100 degrees. Excellent. Very good. Uh -huh. Someone, right? Very good. Mm -hmm. En active voice siempre necesitamos un doer. En este caso, Rocío, who was very clever, diciendo someone. Pudo haber dicho Ana, pudo haber dicho Lizzie, pudo haber dicho Walter. You, all right? But she said someone, because we don't know who. All right, so that's okay. Very good. The other one, um, continue reading. Ana, you were reading, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. My bike was stolen last Thursday. Mm -hmm. Identity of Ajit in Oh no. All right, my bike was stolen last Thursday. Identity of agent is unknown. I don't know who stole it. All right, again, that sentence is past passive voice. All right, the last one, Anna, please. The president was voted, voted. Yes, voted. Into yes. office. Agent is obvious. Who elected the president? The people or the Congress, or I don't know, all right? So the president was voted into mm. office, all right? So was voted is past passive voice. How do I know that? Because of the use of was, all right? The other one is the use of the verb, the past participle, all right? Okay. Now, here, guys, we have, this is just for you to review. Esto es repaso del passive voice, all right? The active voice is made with subject plus main verb plus object, okay? So, the bees make honey, all right? Si se fija, esa es la estructura gramatical pura. Una oración en voz activa se hace así. Sujeto más verbo, verbo principal más objeto de la oración. 
cuando yo hago el cambio en mi voz pasiva, el objeto pasa al sujeto y el sujeto pasa al final o puede ser omitido. ¿Ya? Yes, guys. Hello. Yeah. Ok. Right? Yes. You guys are sleeping today. ¿Qué pasó? All right. Beast no, maker. como él me dijo que apagáramos oh. los micrófonos. <risa> Only we listen the, the, the No, pero, pero al menos háganme no, así la gente Y como no a todos. I said, a I said yes in my camera. <risa> Para los sí. But yeah, like, like Elmer says, we have put, put mute on the microphone. On the microphone. So. Bueno, pero entonces enciendan su camarita para verle su carita linda. Please, I need to see your actions. Acuérdense que eh, la, las clases de inglés son así, como si yo le veo su expresión de esta señora que está hablando de voz pasiva, activa, y le veo que fruñe, frunce el ceño, digo, ay Dios mío, no me están entendiendo. Pero si solo veo una rosita, se ve linda, pero no sé si me está entendiendo. All right, very good, that's okay, guys. All right, no solo que estén ahí suficiente. All right, a ver, this may can, alguien que tenga la cámara apagada, voy a agarrar ahorita, ya sé. Eli, Eli Larín, todavía tiene su cámara apagada, Eli. Ah, ya le encendió, qué malvada. <risa> Eli, pero disfruta la clase, Eli, eso es lo importante. A yo ver, puedo, yo puedo. Yo sé que puede, of course. A ver, Eli, make honey. That's an active voice, all right? Switch that sentence to passive voice. No me le vaya a cambiar el tiempo verbal. Voice. Sí, cámbielo a passive voice. Con el tiempo, el mismo tiempo verbal que esté en Active Voice. Thank you, Rosy. The honey make, the honey make it, the honey is make it peace. Ah, ya casi, casi. Honey is, ajá, y el past participle de make. Ajá, claro. Honey is, what is, the past, par, what is the past participle, Eli? La voy a poner a hacer línea. Made, made, made. Made, right? Honey is made, is made by bees. By, by oh, bees, o la puedo omitir. Honey is made. Es porque el, el agente o el sujeto o el doer es obvio. All right? So, yo lo puedo omitir. Honey is made by if bees. You, yes, if you said uh, honey was made, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's bad. No, it's simple, it's okay. Must. It's okay, so Mario, you... but it's simple. Ah, okay. Okay? okay. Ahora, en la plataforma, eh, el, el passive voice que estamos usando, es, por eso dice basic passive voice, porque estamos, la, la estamos usando en presente, que es como la más fácil, digamos. Porque obviamente mm. la puedo hacer en pasado, en futuro, en pasado, ay, usted diga, cualquiera, en cualquier tiempo casi verbal. No todos los tiempos ah. se pueden cambiar a passive voice, pero eso ahorita no se metan. All right. Okay. So the act in este caso, por eso le llamamos basic passive voice because we're only talking about present. Okay. Now, okay. James Cameron. Sure. Yes, Hola. yes. Teacher, eh, pero no me quedó muy claro. Sí. Cuando hicimos el switch, uh -huh. entonces eh, el make va a pasar a may, a, al past. Sí. Honey okay. is made by. Bees. Eh, no sé si puede ver. Puede ver. Ups, ¿qué hice? Eh, sí, no, pero lo vi. Ah, vale. Sorry, sorry. All right. Entonces, cuando hacemos Ajá. el switch, Ana, decimos Ajá. honey is made by bees. All right. Ajá. ¿Por qué made? Porque necesitamos el pasado participio. Acuérdese okay. que la voz pasiva la hago, no, no solo haciendo el switch ese de, de la cruz, digamos, o de la X, Ajá. sino que necesito mi verbo be, que en este caso es presente, y mi past participle del verbo, del verbo que estés siendo usado, en este caso made, ¿verdad? Por eso okay. el pasado participio de todos los verbos es importante saberlos, porque lo usamos casi que always, ¿all right? Yeah? Ok. All right, very yes. good. Thank, Thank you, Ana. You. Very good question. All right, a ver, alguien que tenga la cámara apagada, todos van a encender la cámara. <laughs> All right, Alexia no la tiene apagada, pero Ale le voy a preguntar, vaya, después va Alexia. A ver, Ale. Yes. Uh, James Cameron directed Titanic. All right, that sentence is in active voice. Can you switch mm -hmm. it to passive voice, honey, please? Yes. Um, let's see. The Titanic 
was directed by James Cameron. Very good, thank you. All right. <laughs> Titanic was directed by James Cameron. Why did Alejandra use was, uh, Jenny? She said Titanic was directed by James Cameron. Why was? Because in the past. That's right, Jenny. Very good, Jenny. Excellent. Because it was in the past tense, all right? Directed is in simple past. So I need to switch it to passive voice in simple past. Ahora, si esa oración estuviera, James Cameron directs Titanic, que sería imposible. Pero anyway, como por ejemplo, podríamos, James Cameron directs Titanic, decimos, Titanic is directed by James Cameron. Yes, guys? Yes. Yes. Yeah? yes. All right. Alex is repairing Bill's bicycle. A ver, ¿quién más tiene la cámara apagada, pues? Ay, Lizzy, ya la vi. Waltercito, ¿qué me le pasó si antes encendía su cámara? <laughs> All right, a ver, Walter. Good ¿Qué pasó? evening. Good evening, how are you? <laughs> All right, uh, Walter, the last sentence. Alex is repairing Bill's bicycle. It, regáleme the tense of that sentence. Solo el tiempo ahorita. Uh, in, in, how to say in present, uh -huh. present what? Continuous. Yes, it's present continuous. Very good. All right. Thank you. El, I mean, Walter, now Elmer, porque tiene con la cámara apagada. A ver, Elmercito, tell me the same sentence in passive voice. The bicycle is prepared by Alex. No. Casi, casi. Eric is le va a ayudar. Ah, casi. A ver, Eric, ayúdele a Elmer Porfis. Me? Yes, Eric, yes. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, Bill's bicycle uh -huh. is being Excellent. prepared by Alex. Excellent. Bill's bicycle, the bicycle, let's say, is being repaired by Alex. All right. O lo dejamos nada más. Bill's bicycle is being repaired. Ya está ya acabó. All right. Repaired. Yes, you guys are very good students. All right. Okay. Uh, the passive voice, guys, here, es es lo que estábamos viendo aquí. Tenemos... Is made with subject to be plus past participle porque plus um, the object, hacemos la, el, el cruce, all right? Not that the active voice object becomes the passive voice subject. Y es lo que me preguntaba, creo que Natalie, me decía, entonces se vuelve el sujeto. Sí, se vuelve, el objeto de mi oración activa se vuelve mi sujeto en mi oración pasiva, ¿ya? Si le queremos llamar así. In the passive, the main verb is always the past participle, all right? No se me confunda que no es el pasado simple. Es el past participle cuando hacemos passive voice, all right? Now here we have positive, ya hicimos estas, like, together, the positive sentences. Honey is made by B, Titanic was directed by James Cameron, but Bill's bicycle is being repaired by Alex. Negative, all right, guys, the only thing that we need to do is add not right after the verb be. Honey is not made by wasps, all right? Titanic was by George Lucas and Bill's bicycle is not being repaired by Alex, all right? You only need to add not to the negative, I mean, for the negative statement. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Okay. All right, questions. Is honey made by bees? Mm -hmm. All right, now, um, Alexia, if I ask you, Alexia, is honey made by bees? What's your answer? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Alexia. <laughs> Alexia, if I have a question and I, I don't know the answer and I say, Alexia, is honey made by bees? How do you answer that question? Um, yeah, honey is made by bees. I, I, I'm not sure. Yes. <laughs> Okay, it's not a really <laughs> question, Alex. It's okay. All right, is honey made by bees? And you say, yes, Jessica, honey is made by bees. But what about short answer, Alexia? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
All right, mm -hmm. yes, it is. All right. Ahora, no es que sea. Lo que pasa es que short answer for passive voice. All right, no es la simple to be que we learn like, ah, en básico, menos cero. All right. Yes. So when you say it's honey made by bees, yes, it is made by bees. So it's short answer, passive voice. You guys understand? Yes. yes? Mm. No. No? Los perdí? No. Yes. yes. Repeat it again, no. please. ¿Qué pasó? A ver, <laughs> A ver ¿qué, pasó? ¿qué pasó? La know. pregunta es esta. Is honey, ahora estamos las passive voice questions, ¿sí? Yes, okay. honey. Yes, okay. ¿Cómo hacemos una eh, pregunta en voz pasiva? Pasamos el is, como en todas preguntas, pasamos, lo, lo pasamos al principio, el, el verbo be en este caso. Is honey made by bees? ¿Se puede contestarme long answer o short answer, cierto? Yes. yes. De que aprendieron inglés, sí, ayer. All right. Entonces, short answer, usted puede decir, yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. O me puede decir, yes. Honey is made by bees. La long answer. Pero ambas respuestas, la short y la long, son short answer de la voz pasiva y long answer de la voz pasiva. No es como que yo le digo, is this a cell phone? Y usted me dice, yes, it is. All right, ese es el short answer del, del is this a cell phone? Do you guys understand? Yes. Lo que quiero es que entiendan que podemos contestar tanto en corto como en largo, pero el corto es corto de la voz pasiva. Que se ¿Cómo sería el corto de la voz pasiva? ¿Perdón? ¿Cómo sería el corto de la voz pasiva? Y es Iris. Lo mismo. De la voz pasiva a la voz pasiva. Es que se dijo, vaya. Se dijo. Tiene que ser la respuesta corta de la voz pasiva y la respuesta larga de la voz pasiva, claro. pero no hay un cambio. A en ver. la corta, porque siempre yes y this. Claro, pero es la corta de la voz pasiva, no es la corta de la normal de cuando yo le digo is... Simple present. Ajá, cuando yo le digo is it a cell phone y usted me dice yes it is. O is, si is... yo le digo is, is honey maybe by bees. Yes, it is. Sí, es lo mismo. What the difference? <laughs> ninguna. <laughs> a la larga, ninguna, Eli. Lo que pasa es que tiene que saber que una es, que es la forma de, ¿cómo le explico? Es la forma de contestar corta, pero dentro de la voz pasiva. No uh -huh. es el iris que usted aprendió cuando le digo, hey, Eli, is, is it your house? Me dice, yes, yes it is. O oh, it is, all right? Es, es igual. Lo que pasa es que a una le... <risa> Por el tipo de pregunta, Eli, es la, vo... la respuesta corta de la voz pasiva. Pero es igual, estructuralmente usted pone it is, ya. Yeah. All right? Okay. Entonces yo le digo, is honey made by bees? Yes, it is. O me dice yes, ups. ¿Están viendo que estoy escribiendo? Uh -huh. ¿No pueden ver eso? Yes, yes, yes. yes it is made yes. by... Peace. Entonces, mm -hmm. igual que en los, todos los otros tiempos, Eli, tenemos una forma corta de contestar y una forma corta, de, perdón, larga de contestar. Cuando yo le digo, did you go? Usted me dice, yes, I did. Yes, I did. El, el did le da a usted, o toda la oración, la, la, la respuesta le da la pauta que estoy en mi, usando mi respuesta corta del pasado, simple, ¿cierto? Ok. Entonces, en este caso es nada más que la respuesta corta de la voz pasiva es igual, digámoslo así, que la forma corta del presente simple del verbo be cuando usted decía I am, you are, it is, he is, y te estaba aprendiendo eso. <risa> only, la... only you said yes, yeah. and that's it. Ajá, que no debería, porque más corta de la forma corta, no hay corta. <risa> <Yeah>. <risa> porque entonces But I think pasado. it depends on the tense of the sentence. Of, of course. Because yeah. in this case, because it's simple present. Right. Uh -huh. It's kind of made by bees because, for example, if we say, uh, was honey made by bees? The uh -huh. answer would be, yes, yes it, it was. was. That's right. Yeah. 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 It depends so on. It depends on the, the tense yeah, of, of the course. sentence. It depends on the tense of the sentence. I know you always have, Eric, the short answer and the long answer. All right. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Ahora, okay. Mario, watch it, ¿verdad? Cuando usted le dicen, por ejemplo, are you happy? No diga yes, porque si dice yes, I am. Oh, yes, yes I'm happy. Vea más, no, haga más corta la de la corta que existe. No cambie las reglas. Okay. <laughs> si But I digo, think you can say... Angry? No. Uh -huh. I think But you can say, are you happy? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, it's, it's better than it. I think. <laughs> Sí, pero yo yeah. no voy a quedar con ganas de preguntarle nada. <risa> All right, ok. ¿Vamos bien hasta ahí? ¿Hoy sí se, se lograron encarrilar otra vez o siguen perdiditos por ahí? Sí, yeah, yes. no. Yes. Yes. Okay. Clear. Thank you. We are in the way. Ok, yeah, you're on the way. You're on the right track. Ok. Uh, let's see here. Y todo esto, guys, casi que ya terminamos. My goodness. All right. Eh, nos lleva a describing a process, all right? That's what, this is what it is on the platform. Todo el preámbulo es para llegar a lo que está en la plataforma, pero creo que es importante y necesario recordar, volverlo a vivir, yes. ¿verdad? Porque de repente se nos olvida alguna que otra cosa, ¿ok? So, describing a process. Eh, ¿Quién quiere leer? ¿Alguien que lea por mí, please? Only one. Sí. Thank you, ¿ok? Uh, we can use the passive voice to describe processes in which the action is more important than the person performing it. Perfect. Uh -huh. Example, the metal cheating was uh -huh. heated, <laughs> cheating was heated and bent into shape before being cooled, bean, before bean, polished, bean, cooled, bean. polished, And finally, painted. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. So here, guys, what it says is we can use the passive voice to describe processes in which the action is more important than the person performing it. At the end, remember that we don't know is not important or we don't care. All right. So we care more about the action itself. Okay. So the example says the metal sheeting was heated. All right, first, you can say first was heated and bent into shape before being cooled. All right, being cooled is also passive voice, polished and finally painted. All right, the whole sentence here is using passive voice all the time. All right, when you talk about processes, you may use first, then, next, last, finally, at the end. All right. Uh, you name it. You can use those words that tell you or this help you describe a process. In this case, they didn't really use one except at the very end. Well, they used before and then finally. But you, whatever you're talking about, if I ask you, how do you make, uh, how do you bake bread? All right, you say, okay, first, whatever. And then you tell me the explanation is, being, you know, the, the bread is being, um, baked on uh, 180 Celsius, degrees Celsius on the oven, all right? And you are telling me those things, okay? So you may use those sequence words, all right? To describe a process. But in this case, we're using past the basic passive voice to describe these kind of processes. Do you understand, my friends? Yes or not really? No me digan carne y hablé y hablé y you don't understand. <laughs> All right, yeah, well, you guys understand? All right. Fíjense que le tenía, les tenía así como de regalo, ¿verdad? Del día del padre, mentira. Eh, y el día del maestro va a ver a Sueto. De yo. Una no pregunta, ¿verdad? Ja, qué bárbaro. Of course, they have of. to be. Uh, uh, y mañana tenemos a Sueto. No, mañana sí tenemos clase, my dear Ellie. Fíjense que esto le tenía yo de su... Pero no se lo voy a compartir ahorita, se lo voy a compartir mañana para que estén en clase. Ay, no me dejó tomar <laughs> en <sé>. la captura. <laughs> All right. And so, tomorrow, guys, I understand. Si no puede entrar a clase porque va a celebrar con su papá o le van a celebrar porque ella es papá, it's okay. All right. Pero yo aquí voy a estar. <laughs> Dando yeah. clase. And All right. Your so, husband, your father. No, lo celebro. What happened? Antes, antes, ah. lo celebro. Or, or after. <laughs> All right. So uh, I have to be here tomorrow. So in case, I mean, I hope that you can get into class. All right. But in case you can't, I understand. Igual nos veríamos el jueves. 
si en caso usted no puede entrar a clase, ese, eso que le acabo de enseñar, que no lo voy a volver a poner porque lo van a tomar foto, eh, lo vamos a trabajar no, no, no. mañana y lo voy a subir al grupo por aquellos, ¿verdad? Que estuvieron celebrando. All right. Entonces, y igual eso es driving processes. Realmente está bien bonito el, el worksheet que estaba preparado para ahora, pero we were talking a lot. So that's okay. Eh, we're going to do it tomorrow for uh, you to write the processes of some things that I have there on the worksheet. Okay. So in case you cannot come or join us tomorrow in class, I'm going to send the worksheet on the WhatsApp group tomorrow. Lo que le puedo mandar ahora es la PPT. All right, yeah. that we just use, all right? Okay. Lo mismo, eh, compañeros, que está en la plataforma, es lo mismo que expliqué ahorita, lo que pasa es que nos detuvimos mucho, ¿verdad? En cómo recordarnos cómo se estructura la Passive Voice, qué va a dónde y cómo por qué, ¿verdad? Para recordarles, pero ya lo tendrían que saber, ¿ok? Question. Yeah, but I think it's better when you explain us. I like yeah. the way how you explain oh. the, some topics. Right. Thank you, Eric. Very good. All right. So, do you have any more questions? Any comments? Que me alegra ver a Lizzy. Yo siempre me preocupo por Lizzy. Siempre me preocupo por todos, pero Lizzy también. <laughs> Very good. All right. Eh, questions, guys, concerning cómo vamos con la plataforma antes de irnos, cómo van reporte, Alejandro. Mal. Mal. Working. Sabe que nosotros somos uno de los grupos que siempre terminamos casi que todos antes del último día. Así que no me vayan a decepcionar que no me llamen, que me digan, mire, su grupo no ha terminado. All right. <risa> Así es que, ¿cómo va? Alejandra, ¿cómo va? Reporte así, uno por uno. A ver, Ale, ¿cómo va? I did it, though, but there is one, the last section, it has, in the very last part, mm -hmm. they have this um, exercise when you are supposed to put in the non, non relative clause. Okay. And it's not taking the answer. All right. But um, so if you want perhaps it's something can... that I'm doing wrong or something. What you can do tomorrow, there's... you send me a screenshot of what you've done. And then I can sh I can help you, right? All right. All right, very good. Mario, what about you? Thank you. Mario, como va? Yeah, I'm the unit three. I am the section, the video that you... The last you, one. Yeah, for okay. reactions and examples. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, very good. Okay, Anita, como vamos? Um, I couldn't uh, do the 3.7. Ah, okay, but you're in three. Section three, yes. vamos. Excellent, very yes, good. Yes, Natalie, yes. what about you? Uh, I'm writing the middle of section four. Excellent, okay. Natalie. Thank you so much. Jose Rodriguez? I am unit 3.7, teacher. Okay, very good, all right. Okay, Eric, what about you? Excellent, Jose. Uh, unit three. Okay, very Working, good. yeah. Okay, very good. Alexia, in your case? I'm on section three. Okay, very good. All right, Jose Ramos? I have already completed section three. Excellent. Very good. That's music to my ears. Very good. Thank you, Jose. <laughs> Rocio, what about you? Sorry. Where are you? No, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Yeah. I am, I am in unit one. Unit mm. one? Yes. Rocio. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, Rocío, con todos los poderes póngase ahí. Very good. All right, Lizzie, what about you? ¿Por qué se ríe, Lizzie? ¿Por dónde va? Cuénteme. Microphone. Yeah, I think she's having a problem with the internet right now. Eli, usted? Beginning the section three. Beginning. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, Williams, what about you? <laughs> okay, I am in the fourth, that seven section, but Excellent. I don't take the midterm exam. Excellent. <laughs> All right, Williams, that's okay. All right, Elmer, what about you? I have problem, I have problem with the section uh, exercise 4.8. Ah, okay. I, I, for I will find. Okay. I will right. find your help too. Okay, that's okay. All right. Uh, Francisco, what about you? I'm going to start the, the three. Okay. All right. Okay. And Jenny? 
In section three. Excellent. All right. Very good. And Walter. Middle term teacher. All right. Okay, very good, guys. Ahí solo hay algunos por allí. All right, Rocío. Póngase Rocío, oye. Si necesita ayuda y nos, nos grita. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Si en caso no veo los que van a celebrar Father's Day. And your parents, if your father's happy Father's Day. Si no, nos ponga como excusa que le van a celebrar. Si no, va a celebrar nada. All right? Okay, guys. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank okay, you so much. Okay. Bye, guys. Good night. Bye, 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 bye. Ya les mando la PPT, okay? Bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night, everyone.